Hello everyone, this is Vai Manoharati, Department of Cyber Security, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, in this session, I am going to explain you about security association in IP and IP traffic processing. IP traffic processing. So, security association. So, before going to explaining about security associations, the concept which IP secure is very important role in the security associations. So, it is, uh, which is one concept that comes under the IP security services, which providing the authentication and the confidentiality mechanisms. So, IP secure is also known as the combination of both authentication header plus encapsulating security payload plus IES, IEK, Internet Key Exchange, IKE, Internet Key Exchange. <laughs> so, here the security association is the concept that appears in both authentication and the confidentiality mechanism. Both authentication and the confidentiality mechanism for IP is the security association. So, the concept which provides both authentication and the confidentiality mechanism for the IP security is called as security association. So, an association is a one-way logical connection between sender and the receiver. It is a one-way logical connection between sender and the receiver that affords security services to the traffic carried on it. That affords security services to the care traffic carried on it. So, a peer relationship is needed for two-way secure exchange, then two secure association is required. So, to implement a two-way secure exchange mechanism for the two hosts or two four hosts, then you have to apply two security associations are required. A security association is uniquely identified by three parameters. A security association is uniquely identified by three parameters. The first one is what? Security parameters index. So, simply called as SPI, it is a 32-bit unsigned integer assigned to this security association and having a local significance only. It carried both authentication header and the ESP headers to enable the receiving system to select the SCA under which a received packet will be processed, under which a received packet will be processed. So, IP destination address, the second field is what IP destination address. So, this is the address of the destination endpoint of the SCA, which may be an end user system or a network system, such as like firewalls or routers, such as like firewalls or routers. These are all gateways, we can say the gateways. So, host to gateways, host to gateway. And security protocol identifier. So, this field from the outer IP header, this field from the outer IP header indicates whether the association is an authentication header or ESP or security association. Authentication header or ESP or security association. Hence, in any IP packet, in any IP packet, the security association is uniquely identified by the destination address in the IP before or IP before header and the security parameter index in the enclosed extension header that is nothing but authentication header or ESP header. So, among these all the security protocol identifier exists, IP or destination address exists, security parameters index also exists. The security scheme the security association implements authentication algorithms. A key that algorithms use a lifetime over which the key will remains valid. A lifetime over which the destination agrees to use the algorithm. So, which type of which destination or sources use the algorithms and a list of source addresses that are authorized to use the scheme. That are authorized to use the scheme. Further, observe that the information cannot fit into the header. The observe that information cannot fit into the header format. To save the space in the header, this IP secure arranges for each receiver to collect all the details about security scheme 
into the abstract known as the security association so from this all the point of view the security association tells that it collects all the details about the security schemes into the an abstraction so which contains all the header details which contains all the security algorithms details authentication algorithms details confidentiality details everything so all the documented details will be saved into the particular scheme is known as particular security scheme is known as security association is known as security association so here each security association is given a number known as the security parameter index so for each and every security association they are assigned a single number a given number which is a security parameter index through which it is identified through which it is identified so to identify the security association each and every parameters index are assigned each and every parameters index are assigned so before a sender can use ip secure to communicate with the receiver the sender must know the index value for a particular security association so before he, he wants to communicate with the receiver before communicating to the receiver the sender has to use the security parameter index security parameter index that is nothing but with particular security association particular security association so a destination uses the security parameter index so source and receiver so to communicate source to receiver securely the source address source address identify the security parameter index source address identifies the security parameter index which is from security association which is from security association for the packet the values are not global a combination of destination address and the security parameter index is needed to identify an a security association so the combination of both destination address as well as security parameters index that is spi plus receiver address destination address is combines into the detail in the security association detailed in the security association so here you can see this is the source system under which having the ip address 172.168.1.24 and uh, this is the second host which contains ip address 172.168.2.24 this is the source and this is the receiver so this is the source or sender this is the receiver and the destination which is a headquarters located at uh, hyderabad and which is a remote branch office located at mumbai they wants to securely communicate they wants to communicate securely they wants to communicate securely with the help of routers r1 routers r2 so before initiating them the source the source address or sender has to identify the c security parameters index of this router of this router which is available in the security association that implements here security association in between these two this is the second one and this is the first one so the security association communicates both sender and receiver securely both sender and receiver securely so here the security association from r1 to r2 r1 to r2 the security association establishes the communication between source and destination or sender and receiver with the help of security parameters index security parameters index into the security association security association so this is the way the two hosts are communicated securely the two hosts are communicated securely and the next important thing ip traffic processing so ip secure is executed on packet by packet basis the ip secure is executed each and every one packet by packet basis so when ip sec implemented each outbound ip packet is processed by the ip secure logic before transmission 
So before sending of the packet to the receiver side, it has to be that is nothing but outbound IP packet. That is nothing but outbound IP packet. So source from the source the packet is going to be received to the receiver side. So now this packet P1 is outbound packet. This packet P1 is outbound packet and this packet P1 for receiver side is inbound packet. Inbound packet. So this is the outbound packet for the source and this is the inbound packet for the receiver. So each outbound IP packet is processed by IP secure logic before transmitting. Before transmitting. Before transmitting, it has to be processed by IP secure logic. And each inbound packet is processed by the IP secure logic after reception. So once it processed to the receiver side, after received it, it has to be processed IP secure logic. It has to be processed IP secure logic. And before passing the packet contents on to the next higher level. Next to higher level. So before passing packet content to the next higher level, it has to be processed. It has to be processed at the receiver side. So here it operates in two modes. One is outbound packets and the second one is inbound packets. One is outbound packets and the second one is inbound packets. So outbound packets. The below figure shows that highlights the main elements of IP secure processing for outbound traffic. Processing for outbound traffic. A block of data from higher layer such as TCP is passed down to the IP layer. So TCP, so layer from higher layer to lower layer TCP to IP layer. So and an IP packet is formed consisting of an IP header and an IP body. Then the following steps occur here. So how it outbound, so each and every layer, each and every layer having the packet transmission, each and every having, each and every layer having the packet transmission. So from each and every layer, the packet is to be transmitted for the next layer. The packet is called as outbound packet. And the receiver for the next layer, the packet is called as inbound packet. So now, the outbound IP packet, so like example from TCP or UDP, example from TCP or UDP. So we are having uh, seven layers like uh, application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, and uh, data link layer, physical layer, right? Now I am going to say that what a uh, transport layer. Suppose if we are assuming that uh, packets are transmitted from transport layer to network layer. A transport layer to session layer. So now we can consider it as the data is transmitted from transport layer itself. It is saying that the packets are outbound packets. The packets are outbound packets because the packets are transmitted from transport layer to network or transport layer to session. However, it is if we are taking that. So transmitting, transmitting of the packets from transport layer means it says that outbound packets for the transport layer. Outbound packets for the transport layer. Now, here it says, so first of all, the packet checks, the packet is to be searched for the security policy database. The packet is searched for the security policy database. So, if the packet is matched with the security policy database, then it forwarded to the determined policy pointer. It forwarded to the determined policy. If not found, if no match is found, then discard the packet. Discard the packet. If not found, if not found the packet with the help of security policy database, then it discard continuously. It discard permanently. If the match is found, then determines the policy of that packet. Determines the policy of that packet. So. It has to be protected with the help of uh, security association database. It has to be protected. So here, from here, the packet is to be protected. The packet is to be protected. The packet is to be protected. So how it protected? 
it protected with the help of security association database it protected with the help of security association database so now it moves forward to the searching in the security association database if it founds if it founds the match is found then process the authentication header or encapsulation security payload so process the authentication header or encapsulating security payload for the packet so after matching the outboard packet security association database then it moves forwarded to the processing with the help of authentication header or esp forwarding to the authentication header or esp if it if it is not found in the search association database then it has to be applied with the internet key exchange it has to be applied with the help of internet key exchange mechanism so now keys are added now keys are added and it is authenticated now again it has to be checked with the help of search association database it has to be checked with the help of security association database if not found then if not found then you have to apply internet key exchange mechanism if match found then apply the process authentication header or esp after process the authentication header or esp then it forwarded packet via internet protocol so the packet has to be forwarded through ip secure ip secure so now it is forwarded and it is reached to the next layer either it is session layer or either it is network layer either it is session layer or either it is network layer so that is what we have to examine the packet traffic processing in the layer, higher layer to lower layer or lower layer to higher layer so here if it match found then it searches for the policy database if it match found then determines the policy and it protects for the search security database and there if it is match found then process the authentication header or esp then forwarded packet via ip if it is not found apply the internet key exchange mechanism again it has to be say, verified with the search security association database so like the way each and every packets are tra being transmitted from one layer to another layer with the help of outbound ip packet with the help of ip security services with the help of ip security services so here the steps are involved to traffic processing so ip secure searches the security parameter distribution for a match to search policy database for match to this packet so whatever the packet is transmitted from tcp or udp that packet that packet ip searches the search policy database search policy database if no match found then the packet is discarded and an error message is generated so packet is discarded as well as error message is generated if match is found further processing is determined by the first matching entry in the search policy database if the policy for this packet is discarded then the packet is discarded if the policy is bypass then there is no further ip secure processing if it is processed as bypass then it is no processed with the help of ip secure ip secure so then the packet is discarded then there is no further ip secure processing the packet is forwarded to the network for transmission if the policy is protect then the search is made of the search association security association database for matching entry if no entry is found then ik is invoked to create an sa with the appropriate keys and an entry is made in the sa the matching entry in the security association database determines the processing for this packet so either encryption authentication or both can be performed and either transport or tunnel mode can be also used the packet is then forwarded to the network for transmission layer network for transmission so here each and every each and every step is going to be transferred for the packets from transport layer to network layer transport layer to network layer and similarly you can see you can observe that inbound packets so now the transport layer, the packet is being trans transmitted from transport layer to network layer so now 
it is called as inbound packet for network layer inbound packet for network layer so here the following figure highlights that the main elements of ip secure processing for inbound traffic and incoming ip packet triggers the ip secure processing the following steps will be occur so what are the steps here you can see so the first inbound ip packet so the packet is coming from internet layer the packet is coming from internet layer network layer the packet is coming from internet layer or network layer now it checks whether the packet type it checks whether the packet type is whether it is ip packet or whether it is ip secure packet whether it is ip packet or whether it is ip secure packet if the packet is arrived to the internet layer is ip packet then it searches security policy database then it search for the security policy database so if the security search security policy database is bypass then deliver the packet to the higher layer deliver the packet to the higher layer that is nothing but transport layer deliver packet to the higher layer if it is not bypassed then discard the packet discard the packet so discard the packet so here two actions are performed one is first of all it is checking whether the packet received to this layer is either a ip packet or either ip secure packet so if it is ip packet then it search for the security policy database and if it is search match found then it bypasses to the delivering of the packets to the next layer if it is not found then not bypassed and it is discarded not bypassed and it is discarded if it is ip secure packet if it is ip secure packet then search security association database search security association database if match found if match found in the such security database then it has to be processed with the help of authentication header as well as encapsulated security payload it has to be processed with this if it is not found then discard the packets discard the packet if it is match found then process it for authentication header as well as encapsulated security payload then it moves to the delivering of the packet to the higher level delivering of the packet to the higher layer so this is the way inbound packets are uh, traffic processing inbound packets traffic processing in the layer layer to here we can observe that network layer to transport layer so how the packets are being transmitted network layer to transport layer in the previous outbound packets we how we have discussed that the packets are transmitted from transport layer to network layer transport layer to network layer so this is the way we can understand that the packets are being transmitted in the form of both ip packet as well as ip secure packet if it is ip packet then how it it goes to the delivering of the next layer if it is ip secure packet how it uh, deliver to the uh, delivering of the next layer how it deliver to the next layer so we here we have to understand that the ip packet is not going to be processed by both ip authentication header and the esp but ip secure packet has must and should processed by both authentication header as well as encapsulating security payload so matching found or not matching found is with the concept of search security association database if the packet is match found in the association database then it has to be processed with the authentication header or encapsulating security payload if the match is not found then you have to be discarded the packet it has to be discarded the packets so here we can observe that steps the ip secure determines whether this is an unsecured ip packet or one that esp or ah header trailers by examining that ip before our next header i field ipv6 so it has to be identified that whether it is secured or unsecured packet so if the packet is unsecured if the packet is unsecured the ip secured searches the search policy database for a match to this packet match to this packet if the first matching entry has a policy of bypass the ip header is processed under stripped off and the packet body is 
delivered to the next higher layer directly. Next higher layer directly. Such as TCP, Transform, Transmission Control Protocol. If the first matching entry has a policy of protect or discard, or if there is no matching entry, then the packet has to be discarded. Then the packet has to be discarded. For a secured packet, IP secure such as such security association database first. If no match is found, then the packet is discarded. If no match is found, then the packet is discarded. Otherwise, IP secure applies the appropriate ESP or EH for the processing. Then the IP header is processed and stripped off and then the packet body is delivered to the next higher layer such as transport layer transport layer so this is the way inbound packets are being transmitted from one layer to another layer one layer to another layer so this is the way inbound packets are being transmitted and outbound packets are transmitted so once again we will revise the topics how we what we discussed so here the first concept is what security association. So the simple way the security association is a collection of a, is a collection of all the different data or details about security schemes that are implemented with the help of algorithms, authentication algorithms, security algorithms, security schemes. So each each and every security association having the fields like security parameters index, IP destination address and the security protocol identifier also security protocol identifier also so if uh, the packets are being transmitted from source to destination or sec sender to receiver the security of the packet is with the help of security policy one security policy association or security association database it has to be maintained in the security association database so here we can understand that the establishment of security connection, establishment of security connection from host 1 to host 2 with the help of security association, with the help of security association. So here the host 1 and here the host 2 are connected securely with the help of security association, with the help of some routers. So that is the security association which maintains the collection of details about both security parameters index as well as security algorithms as well as authentication algorithms as well as destination address destination address these are all the things we have to be maintained in the security association database security association database and the ip traffic processing is nothing but the process of how the packets are being transmitted from one layer to another layer one layer to another layer so in the traffic processing we can understand that the packet the packet is transmitted from one layer is called as outbound packet and the packet is received to the another layer is called as inbound packet one is outbound packet which is which is transmitted from one layer and the inbound packet which is received to the layer which is received to the next layer which is called inbound packet so outbound packet and inbound packet inbound packet so how the outbound packet is being transmitted or processed and how the inbound packet is to be received to the receiver side as well as processed so here we can understand that all the processing model for outbound packets processing model for outbound packets so here we assumed that the ip packet is uh, transmitted from transport layer to next layer transport layer to network layer suppose we can take an example so here the packet is called as outbound packet the packet is searched in the security policy database if it is matched then policy is determines if it is not matched then it is discarded but if it is matched then it has to be protected in the security association database the security association database also match found then it has to be processed by authentication header as well as encapsulating security payload if it is not processed or if it is not found match then it has to be generated with the internet key exchange mechanism it has to be generated some keys 
with the help of internet key exchange mechanism. After generating it, once again it has to be verified with the help of some security association database. Now it is processed by authentication header as well as encapsulating security payload. Now the packet is processed by both authentication header as well as encapsulating security payload. Hence the packet is to be transferred to the next layer. Packet is to be transferred to the next layer. So this is called outbound packet transmission. Outbound packet transmission or outbound traffic processing. Outbound traffic processing. Similarly, inbound packets. So inbound packets are nothing but the packets are received at the layer. Packets are received at the layer. So here the packets are received to the internet layer or network layer. Packet is received by the internet layer or network layer. So now the first of all it is has to be identified that the packet is whether secured packet or unsecured packet. If it is unsecured then search for the security policy database with the help of bypass. If it is not found then discard the packet. If it is found then deliver packet to the next layer directly. Deliver it packet to the next layer directly. If the packet is secured packet then the IP secured packet is searched with the security association database. Searched with the security association database. If the match is found then it has to be processed with the authentication header and ESP. If it is not found then discard the packet. If it is found then it has to be processed with the authentication header and ESP. After processed, after processed the packet with the authentication header it has to be delivered to the next layer that is transport layer, the next layer or transport layer. So this is the way we have to understand that IP traffic processing, IP traffic processing. The processing implemented in two models, one is processing model for outbound packets and processing model for inbound packets, processing model for outbound packets as well as processing model for inbound packets. So that is that is about IP traffic processing. So thank you all. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.